So, hello guys, we're here again from Inside Geeks, this time to make a review of the latest dog to a cooler, the NH-U12A. This is a new cooler because it includes the, no the new fans of the Noctua line, the NFA-12X25 fans, which are the, the uh, like they have a designation named Sterox, and they are absolutely amazing because they have a really great performance to noise ratio, kind of like the Sky Gentle Typhoons. And we've already reviewed them on our website, I can leave the link in the description below if it interests you. But now we're going to take a quick look at this cooler. So it is based on the award-winning NHU12 series, which are the, already the 120mm tower coolers from Noctua. We got 100% RAM compatibility, which is really important because bigger coolers from Noctua, such as the NHD15, do not uh, have 100% compatibility with every single RAM because due to the bigger size. We also got six years warranty, the usual from Noctua. I'm just gonna show you the rest of the case here. We got 140 millimeter class performance on a 120 millimeter fan because as I said, this cool, these fans are really good and the new NH-U12 is really thick. You will see that you can understand how it performs so well. So the other things on the box is the usual uh, logos that inform you of things such as award winning, uh, the compatibility and the dual NF812X25 fans and the Secufirm system for mounting which is one of the main advantages of Noctua products is that they are really really easy to install. Uh, on the back we got some information in different languages but we're just gonna go ahead and see what's inside the box and here you got the specifications of the fan they have a max speed of 2000 RPM and some other things that that might be important is the height of the cooler which is 158 if I'm not mistaken exactly 158 which means you'll have to check if your case has compatibility for this cooler but this cooler has a much better uh, compatibility rating than the NHD15, which is the top ultimate cooler from Noctua. So I'm just going to go and grab what's inside. Here we have the accessories box of the NHU12. Uh, as for accessories, we got a low noise adapter, a 4 uh, Y pin cable, the thermal compound NTH1, uh, but I'm just going to open it up. So in here you got the thermal compound and the low noise adapters plus the Y split. You got the Phillips screwdriver that you need to install the cooler, which means this you can install the cooler with just the things that come inside this box. Uh, we got the manual, the manuals of instructions for both Intel sockets, the 115X uh, and the LGA 20XX and the AMD. This is the mounting brackets for AMD AMD systems and this is the Secufirm for Intel based systems you got here the backplate plus the big Secufirm bracket I'm not gonna show you everything just right now because now we're gonna go on to the cooler itself uh, I'm having a bit of trouble Okay. So this is the NH-U12A, as you can see it comes included with two fans like we've said before, both of them are 4 pin PWM with a max speed of 2000 RPM, and you can see it's a really thick cooler, like it's thicker than, more, than the one of the towers in the NH-D15, and we got 14 heat pipes which means that the dissipation of this beast is going to be absolutely amazing, it's the usual Nocto quality, you got the Secufirm mounting points here, you got the usual finish, great finish on the bottom. I'm gonna try to show you. It completely reflects the surface. You got the great finish that we're already used to see from Noctua. And we got the included fan clips. You got a little Noctua logo here. But overall, it's an amazing uh, and well built cooler as we are already expecting from Noctua. Which means the only thing left to do is to mount it and to test its performance. So first I'm going to show you how noisy the NHD15 is while 
load on load situations. I'm just gonna run Prime on the computer. And so now I'm gonna run Prime and we're gonna see how we how the fan ramps up. As you can see this is the fan of the, the two fans of the NHD fifteen on full load. I'm gonna do a comparison with the NHU twelve A on this motherboard. This is running an i5 3570K at about 4.5 GHz or 4.4 and I'm gonna compare the temperatures from this NHD15 with the NHU12A and this is just a fan noise test so you, you can hear the fans and they're not that loud because they're a bigger fan and they don't have as much rotational speed so they do do, do quite well so I'm gonna show you how to install the Noctua NH-U12A on the Intel socket. It's really simple, it's basically the same that you did on past Intel products. You just go grab the Intel kit with this black plate and then you just start by putting it on the motherboard. Like so. Start by putting it like so. After this, you add the spacers, which come included in the little plastic kit. You add the spacers on each side. After this, you go grab the the mounting bars. And you gotta be careful because you need the mounting bar position depends on the orientation you want for your cooler. Since the NH, since the NH U12A has the mounting uh, screws like this, if you want the cooler to be oriented in uh, in a direction towards your exhaust fan, you need to mount the bars vertically. If you want it to be towards your top exhaust fan you need to mount the the bars like this. These are the inverted of the they are, they are the inverted uh, option of the Noctua NHD15 so be sure to, that you install the bars in the correct direction. So you got like this and like this. Remember that the they point out Remember that this point out for a correct install. After this you go grab the, the thumb screws that will lock. Uh, remember to install them diagonally so you don't over tighten one side. And if you want to make sure that everything is well installed you can always go, go behind the motherboard and press the back plate up so you give the best clearance. And then you make sure that everything is tightened up correctly. And you can also go with a screwdriver or use the, the provided one to just finish to just finish tightening these screws make sure not to use too much force or you'll start to degrade the markings on the thumb screws which will make it harder for further installs for more than one install you gotta be really careful so after this is it put it into place. You just need to get your terminal placed that's included with the cooler and put it on your CPU. Uh, I usually put like an X uh, but I guess everything is good as long as you don't have too little thermal paste because it has been shown that too little thermal, pa too little thermal paste is worse than uh, too much thermal paste provided that your thermal paste is non-conductive -condu like the Noctua MTH1 that we're using because if it, if it is conductive you don't want it to be like splooshing all over your motherboard 
because it could fry your motherboard. The next step, it's actually pretty easy. Now you got your Noctua cooler and you put it on top, align the screws with the mounts and it's actually pretty easy now. Now you just need to, as you can see it's centered and then now you tighten a bit of the cooler on each side to make sure it goes down and evenly. Uh, be, sh be aware to not over tighten it on one side, make sure that the pressure is evenly distributed. And keep going until you have no more thread left. This is tightly fit, the NH-U12A is now snug. Now you, you have to connect the two NF-AX 25mm fans, which I would recommend doing so using a Y-split for both the connectors. You can use the provided Y-split, so both fans will, will, will be driven at about the same, term, the same uh, voltage, since they are both PWM and all the included voltage, um, the included uh, Y-split is also PWM, so also supports PWM. So now you can play with the height of the fan as you need clearance for your case maybe but since we're doing this outside the case it's easier like this and then do the same for the back fan which is also pretty easy just make sure that they're about the same height and voila you got the finished look build here with the two fans and as you can see it has a I'm gonna get the NHD 15 here for a comparison. It has a much smaller footprint. It will fit in a lot of different cases, more RAM um, clearance. But it will be mostly due to the width and not the height, because the height of them are actually pretty similar, if not the same. The, the D15 is just a, a, little, a tiny bit high, um, taller. But now, what the only thing that's rest that's left to do is to plug this uh, bad boy in and see what, what are the temperatures like and what's the noise like with these Sterox fans that which are really really impressive. So see you in a bit, guys. So now this is the NHU12A at. Uh, full speed as well, which is running prime, 2 to 3 degrees hotter than the NHD15, yeah. but I, I think it does, but the fact that it can perform like this at a much smaller footprint, it's something amazing, and I'm just gonna shut up for a bit for you, let you to let you guys hear the noise, and these are fans that spin faster than the and uh, NF uh, A15 fans that are in the Nokia NHD15. The absolute amount of air that they move is amazing. So I think it's a really cool CPU cooler. Uh, next, I'm going to show you the temperature graphs on our 3570K overclocked and also on some further testing that we did with the um, with an AM4 CPU, the which is the Ryzen. 52400G, which is another one of our testing CPUs. That that one that CPU is running at 4 GHz, so you guys can understand more or less what's the temperature that this cooler gets on that platform. So see you guys in a bit. So now I'm gonna be talking about the thing that's more important for you guys, which is the performance of this Noctua NH-U12A. As you can see here, we're gonna start start first with the Intel Core i5 uh, results and uh, at the stock level, it's not really important because the NHU12A manages to get about the same performance as the, the NHD15 because it, it does not output that much heat. But the main difference is that for the stock levels, the NHU12A makes for a really quiet cooler, more so even than the NHD15S. And for the overclock scenario, as you can see, the NHU12A manages to stay about one degree 
difference, uh, a bit one, one degree more than the NHD15, which is amazing due to the size difference between those coolers. But uh, as said before, the NHU12A at full speeds is a bit louder than the NHD15. And for the Ryzen 5 2400G, we got about the same temperature once again for the NHU12A and the D15 because as one, uh, it's a heat output that does not challenge these coolers. And once again, the NHU12A is also uh, quieter for these speeds. And when it overclocks, you can see that it falls once again to on that one to two degree range higher than the NHD15. And in the end, we're gonna uh, compare the noise levels of these coolers. And as you can see that the U12A is a bit louder on full speed, but it's not much than the D15. So if you wanna know anything about this cooler, please let us know guys, but we really think that it's a really solid performance even you, when you consider the, the price of around 100 euros. But this is the top performance 120mm tower cooler. So see you in the next video guys.